Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. What I'm going to show you today is this J. Terser, and this is a Telecaster copy. Now they call this the JTLT, and uh, I thought it'd be interesting to see how uh, this guitar holds up today. Uh, this is a used guitar, and uh, these were sort of popular a few years ago as an option uh, for an affordable guitar that had some quality aspects. Uh, now this example, I can say, does not meet that, uh, in my opinion. It feels kind of cheap. Um, it could be just this example I have, uh, being a used guitar, who knows what it's gone through. Uh, but the setup is quite poor. The saddles are, what I would say, too high. And the string action, obviously, then is also too high. And this neck uh, has some fret sprout. So I can feel the frets as I run my hand up and down this uh, neck. And that is not uh, pleasant. It's just sort of a cheese grater feeling. Uh, aside from that, uh, the switch tip, as you can see, it sort of bends and then uh, pops off. So uh, previous owner has tried to tape it, hoping that would fix it up. Not the end of the world, uh, but that would bug me if I was going to play this guitar much. The pots feel good, and they are actually uh, true audio taper pots in my testing, so you get a nice range of volume and tone. Now that's uh, something that probably wasn't on most affordable guitars uh, when this one was built. Um, but is now, uh, it's a different world now. We have guitars like the Classic Vibe and the, uh, the Jet guitars uh, that are pumping out great uh, quality for your dollar. I'm sure back in the day, maybe people felt the same about this. Um, has a nice mahogany body by the looks of it, and it's solid wood, and uh, has a comfort carve contour there. Now I think back in the day when these came out and were getting good reviews, uh, likely a cheap guitar was made of plywood or something. So uh, let's not overlook some of the qualities this guitar does have. I mean, it has a nice maple neck with a really nice carve. You know, it's a deep uh, C shape, not too thin. And uh, look how thick that uh, rosewood fingerboard is. That's a nice slab. And it does feel good uh, when you're playing it. So if somebody wanted to put the time into setting up this guitar, uh, it's not gonna be me, by the way, um, I think it probably could be a good playing guitar. Uh, you'd have to uh, address the fret ends and the bridge setup. Um, but I think it has some redeeming qualities. It has the string through uh, bridge setup and the body seems uh, really good. Uh, I do find the headstock is kind of ugly and it has no name sealed tuners, but they seem to do the job. You know, the nut seems to be cut okay. The height at the uh, nut end is not too high. Just at the bridge, uh, it almost seems like somebody uh, was playing slide on this guitar. Anyway, there's not much to say. Uh, I want to keep these reviews positive. Uh, it's so much more fun reviewing a guitar that you're excited about uh, and this is not exciting to me uh, so I'll just leave it at that and uh, we'll do some sound samples. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.